Hey everybody, this is Coach Crazy 10 and first of all, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, whatever holiday you celebrate. Uh, I hope you're having a good time uh, this time of the year. Basically, this is going to be Christmas stuff. Um, I have my Christmas gifts to show you guys and I also have a few things I picked up on my own at a couple of various places. So, uh, without really going too much into it, this is kind of the state of my room. I'm pretty much packed up right now and, you know, I'm moving, um, more or less I'm moving out after this semester. So. Um, I got all my stuff packed up and, and this is kind of where everything's been. Uh, behind me you can sort of see these are the games that I'm going to be shooting like collection videos for so I've got you know plenty of systems to, t to do that for so that'll be taking up a good portion of my break. Um, but for the most part a lot of these games are going to be stored away. Uh, I'm not really you know, able to play them for a while so um, yeah we'll see how it goes but I'm using this break to play as much as I can. Anyway let's go ahead and go on to the pickups. I'm going to do Christmas pickups last and the stuff I picked up before Christmas first, obviously. So let's just go in chronological order. The first uh, set of pickups here I have to show you guys is a uh, disc replay uh, trip that I made. And this is actually really good because I went to a different disc replay than I normally go to. They had a much better selection. They had very good prices. Um, I spent a little bit more money on these games than I usually do at disc replay, but you know, for the quality of games, I'm pretty happy with them. Um, they're games that I've really been looking out for, so... I wasn't really, you know, bothered to spend the money on them because I thought they were pretty good deals. Uh, I got one PS3 game, and that's Uncharted 2, uh, Honor Among Thieves, or just Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. Um, I had the first one picked up a couple weeks ago, and I've had the third one for a while, so I finally completed my uh, trilogy of Uncharted. Um, I've played these games before. They're fantastic games. I just don't, haven't owned my, copy, my own copy yet. Um, the rest are PS2 games, actually. They had a really good selection of PS2 games. I'm assuming they must have got a couple recent trade-ins, a couple recent really good trade-ins. Um, so there's some pretty top-notch games here. Um, I'll go ahead and go from least spent to most spent. So one of the games that I, this is probably the game I got for free, I guess, is Star Ocean Until the End of Time. I have this um, Greatest Hits. Now I have a black label, but I still don't have the oversized box for it. Uh, but I'd much rather have the black label version than Greatest Hits, and it was $8, which is a really good price. Um, it's complete, it has both of the discs, it's in fantastic condition, um, and actually I guess you can say this was free, so, um, you know, upgrade for, for free, I'm really not complaining, that's a great great deal. Uh, this game was also $8, and this game has been on my, uh, my list for a long time. It's an Atlas RPG, I'm not entirely sure, uh, it looks like a tactical RPG of some sort, but, you know, I haven't, I haven't looked into this game recently. Uh, but that's Odin Sphere. Um, I've been looking looking out for this for quite some time. I've heard it recommended by a lot of people. Uh, finally got a chance to pick it up, so I'm happy to get that. Um, got here a Square Enix RPG. This was ten bucks, and this is a Valkyrie Profile 2 Silmaria. Um, looks like a you know a traditional RPG for Square Square Enix. Um, you know I've heard that the Valkyrie Profile games are pretty good. Nothing outstanding. Um, pretty decent story though, so you know, excited to get this. Looking forward to trying this eventually. Uh, I'd like to play the games in order though, so I need to do some research to figure out what's what's the uh, order to play those. Uh, next one here is Silent Hill 2. This was 12 bucks. I have Silent Hill 4, The Room, and I have Silent Hill Origins. I still need the third one on the PlayStation 2 and the first one on uh, PlayStation 1. They had the third one there, but I wasn't really happy with the condition, and there was something else that I really wanted to get, so I ended up getting that over the Silent Hill 3, but... Uh, here's this one, again, in great shape. These are all in fantastic condition, all complete, um, all black label. So, really nice bump to the PlayStation 2 collection. And the last game here is another PS2 game. This is actually an NIS America box game. Um, I do own this game on the Wii, but I was really you know, excited and surprised to see this for the PlayStation 2. Um, you're probably seeing it right now on camera. There's like this little scratchy thing in my new hoodie. Um, I'll have to get it out later. But that is uh, Sakura Wars So Long My Love. The... Uh, box set, whatever. It says it includes three bonus items. There's only two in here, um, but this is in pretty good shape. The outer box is okay. It's not the greatest, but it's not bad. Um, we've got the game here, and uh, this just has both discs in here. There's no manual inside, but that's because the manual is actually inside the box. Um, so there's, let's see, the manual here, which is ginormous. Um, it's black and white, but it does come in a couple languages. But, I mean, you can see how really thick this is. Um, and it also comes with a little soft cover art book. Um, and it has, you know, illustrations of things and just kind of some information about the various characters, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, the only thing that I'm really missing at this point is the poster. 
um, you know, I wouldn't put the poster up, but I can imagine that the previous owner probably put the poster up themselves. So that's why it's not here. So, I mean, it's not the end of the world. Um, you know, I paid $15 for this, which is about going rate. But, um, you know, I was just really enthralled to see this in the wild. And, you know, maybe someday I'll come across a, a, a copy with the poster in it. But, you know, for now, I'm happy with it as it is. So there's that. And for disc replay, that's it. Um, I went to Half Price Books with my grandpa, actually. Uh, my grandpa's a huge reader, so is my grandma. Um, they were visiting um, out here in Ohio for uh, the week leading up into Christmas. And, you know, it was really nice to see them. I haven't seen them in quite a long time because they, they live up in New York now. Um, but, you know, we went to the bookstore and I got some games and it was all fun. So, uh, first one here I got is Puzzle Quest Challenge of the Warlords for the PSP. This was 8 bucks. Um, I could get this cheaper elsewhere, but I thought the game was pretty sweet. It's kind of a mix between a puzzle game and an RPG. Um, and it's in really great shape and it's nice and complete, so... I mean, I think with shipping, this is about what you'd pay if you bought it off eBay or, or Amazon or something, so... Uh, not too bad. However, this is a really good deal I, I found, um, and that's Super Smash Brothers Brawl for the Wii. I don't, ha I haven't had this game before, and this was only fifteen dollars. Um, and most people, you know, if you've tried to sell this or you've been trying to buy this online, it's going for about twenty-five dollars, twenty twenty-five dollars, depending on condition. Uh, downside is there's a little bit of a sticker here, um, but you know, for for fifteen bucks, I'm not going to complain. I know that I'll find another copy of this someday, you know, garage selling or whatever. Um, it'll be a pretty easy find. Um, so, you know, I can replace my copy at that point, but I just really want to play this. This is a great party game, a uh, great game to play with friends and stuff like that. So, really happy with that. Alright, so let's go ahead and move into Christmas pickups. Um, I gave my mom a list of games. Um, I actually have an Amazon wish list of games, and I kind of handpicked some ones that I was really interested in. And so, my grandparents uh, bought one game from that list, and my mom and dad actually bought three games from that list, which was really cool. Um, I knew one of them I was getting already because um, I actually went out and bought it. Uh, it was a limited edition and it, it sold out really fast, or I mean, so I thought. You know, now you can get it anywhere, but um, I was under the impression it was going to be super limited, and I wanted to get a hold of it, and uh, I was really happy to. Um, and that's the Zone of the Enders HD Collection Limited Edition um, in this nice big thing. I'm not going to take this out because it's really hard to open, but it comes with like a little half slip, and there's some like the game information on the back. But uh, when you take that off. It's nice and gold, shiny and everything. It's got uh, a really nice art book in there. It's got a soundtrack CD, and it's got the game with the demo. Um, so this is really, really cool. I'm really happy to have this. Uh, the other games here, um, this is the one my grandparents bought me, and that's Dragon Quest IV, Chapters of the Chosen. Uh, really looking to get into these Dragon Quest games on the DS. I've heard almost nothing but good things. I mean, the only complaints that I've heard is that maybe they're too long, you know, too drawn out, because there's a lot of grinding to do. But, I mean, that's how Dragon Warrior games are, Dragon Quest games are. You grind a lot. Um, I know that they were retooled a little bit for the DS so that you don't have to grind as much, but it's still kind of a central theme. Um, and this was brand new. I opened all these, but they were brand new. Um, so I was really happy to get that. Thanks and likes a lot to my grandma and grandpa. And then my mom and dad got me two um, PSP limited editions, which I was so happy to get. Um, both of these games I'm really excited for, and I'm very, very thankful that my parents uh, decided to go ahead and buy these. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure they, they, they paid retail, and they're, these are pretty affordable. Um, they're not the, the more expensive of the limited editions, but I'm still very happy to have them, and I can't wait to play them. Uh, the first one here is East Oath and Felagana Premium Edition. Um, this is the new East game, I think, one of the new East games. They had East 7 and this one that were new. Um, and obviously this is complete. It's got um, a soundtrack CD, it's got a calendar, um, it's got an art book, I think. So it's got a lot of stuff in here. Um, I'm not going to open the calendar because it's for 2011 and we're going into 2013. So it, there's really no point. I'll just keep it sealed. Um, you know, I, it's not going to really add much to the value of it because these are pretty plentiful. But um, a noticeable gap in my PSP collection. Very happy to get that. And lastly, I think I'm probably the most excited about this game out of all of them. I've heard a ton of praise for this game. It seems to be going under everyone's radar. Um, not everyone's radar, but it's not getting, you know, the, the press that the East games are. It came out around the same time, and that's Legend of Heroes, Trails in the Sky. I know R.E. Lewis 2011, uh, my good friend Rusty, absolutely love this game to death. I'm really, really excited to get the chance to play this. Unfortunately, I left my PSP at school. I only brought my DS home with me as far as handhelds go, so I'm going to have to put this on hold, but, you know, that means maybe I can get a shot to play some Dragon Quest IV? Uh, yeah. 
but that's that's assuming that I can tear myself away from Super Mario Galaxy and Donkey Kong Country Returns, which is what I've been playing a lot of recently and really enjoying it. Um, you know, just having the time to play games is just fantastic. You know, I mean, I've been buying games for like two, three years now, um, and I really haven't had the time to sit down and enjoy them um, as much as I would like. You know, I still play games and I still enjoy them, but um, I. I've been playing games pretty much non-stop since I've been home for these past few days, and it's been wonderful. Um, and I'm just very, very thankful for the break. So um, those are my pickups, guys, Christmas gifts and my own pickups. So uh, I want to say a big thanks to my parents and my grandparents uh, for these gifts. They're just absolutely awesome. Uh, I can't thank them enough. And I know they don't watch the videos, but you know, I still am very thankful. Um, so you know, if you guys want to let me know what you guys got for Christmas, that'd be cool. I'm sure I'll be seeing videos out, and uh, I can't wait to see those. I love, you know, watching Christmas gift videos because people get so excited about them because they're surprises, you know, and um, that's that's really cool. I like seeing that. Um, so without me rambling too much more, I think that's it, guys. Um, you know, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for sticking around. Got plenty more collection videos to go. I probably already uploaded my Xbox collection video. Um, I've got I've got Wii, I've got GameCube, I've got PS3, I've got PSP, and I've got Saturn. Uh, so quite a few videos to shoot and edit and upload, but I'm really looking forward to those and. Hopefully you guys really like those videos. I really enjoy making them, um, and they seem to do pretty well. So uh, keep an eye out for those, and I'll probably upload the next one in about two or three days from now, from the time this video goes up. So uh, once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in a few days with that new collection update.